Hello, this is Boyle from Boyle.tv. Today I'm going to answer a question which came by way of email. If you got a question for me, you can email me at help at Buana.tv or you can send me a message on Twitter, just a public message, say at Buana, here's my question, and then tag it at the end with Buana TV QA. That's a hash sign, it's a pound sign, Buana TV QA, all one word, and I'll see it in my queue, and I can consider it for a video. Uh, so this question comes from uh, Nelson, Nelson, I'm not going to say his last name, uh, Nelson says, um, my situation is that I'm going to buy a Mac Pro, congratulations, and I don't know if I should buy one big size monitor or dual monitors. I'm using this setup for my work on the same time I'm using the Parallels app, but that's a virtualization app, and in my free time to play games and watching movies. He asked me what would I do? Okay, Nelson, you want to know you're getting a Mac Pro, so that's a very powerful machine and it, it'll do well for both of these configurations you're talking about. You want a monitor, one big monitor, I'm assuming you mean 30 inch plus, and, or dual monitors, maybe like dual 23 inches or dual uh, 20 inches. A lot of people get dual 20 inch monitors. Um, and you're using parallels and you want to play games and you watch movies. Now, if I were in that situation, if I were in that predicament, um, here's what I would do. I would, I would do the following. I would get dual monitors. It's a preference of mine. I've, I've used bigger monitors. I think the biggest monitor I've used is a 23 inch. And I haven't used a 30 inch monitor yet. But uh, my preference has always been dual monitors. Even with my setup I have here, I have a MacBook Pro with a second monitor connected to it. So it's two different screens. And I've learned how to be productive with that setup. I, I dedicate a screen to certain tasks and I dedicate the second screen to other tasks. And you have a dedicated set of, you know, like it's almost like a boundary, you know, that you can set up to say, Here's where I'm putting my work. Here's where I'm putting my email. Here's where I'm putting this. Over here, I can do whatever I want. I can chat. I can IM. And you can separate it physically. And I don't know if it's a, a mind thing or a brain thing, but to me, that's easier for me to manage than having a big screen and drawing dotted lines in it and say, okay, this quadrant is for this. This quadrant is for that. This quad. You know, I, I me personally, I can't. I, I'm not as productive with one big monitor as I am with multiple small monitors like in my office now I have four screens in front of five screens actually that are small and I can just I know my neck is going here on here on here on here looking at all of them but I'm getting a ton of stuff done and if I had a giant like 40 inch 40,000 inch I don't know some huge screen with all this information on there I wouldn't be as productive that's just me and I'm glad you asked me what would I do because it depends on how you work and how you how you deal with uh, multitasking and juggling certain tasks. For me, having those separate monitors, if you're going a Mac Pro, I would say two 23 inches if you can afford it. 23 is, you know, like a, it's a good number. 20, I think they sell a 24 inch now. Back in my day, <laughs> they sold 23 inches, but I think they're 24 now or 27. I can't remember. There's like a, there's like a area between 20 and 30 that they're selling now that's pretty popular. I would go for that and get dual monitors and I think you'll be very happy. Either way I think you're going to be happy because you got a Mac Pro coming. But I think that would uh, that would best serve your need. Alright Nelson, I uh, hope I answered your question about which to do. Whether to get one monitor, one big monitor or two smaller monitors. So take care Nelson and thanks for the question.